All right. Um, welcome everybody back to the Hogman project. Ugh, my tongue. All right. Um, so we're gonna continue today. We're gonna try to get this whole thing finished. I'm probably able to do so, but if not, well, then we know that we're almost there. So once this whole wing is done, we can then continue with the second wing as well. Well, that's the idea. Oh, let's go for full screen mode. So yeah, um, let's get started. So first things first, one, two, three, four, five, back to five. Then we have that done. Blanket, check. And we can now start. So, the main idea here is that, uh, you know, we have these... So yeah, once this is all done, we can then continue, you know, with the rest, but it seems like my, you know, pressuring on the wings right now is a little bit difficult, so probably need to adjust some of it once I'm drawing the inner lines. There you go. Beautiful lines. So the idea for now continuing is actually that this thing is going to be finished. So once this whole wing is done, you know, I will be a very happy man. And I should have put this on the stub. And I didn't. My mistake. I'm sorry. There you go. Much better. Much better. So once this is all finished, I think I will um once this is all done, I'm gonna try to collect something and then you know yeah. And I should not have drawn this on the wings. God damn it. Sorry, my mistake. I should not have drawn this on the wings. Always forgetting that that is a thing. Glad I'm always paying attention. Right at the moment that I'm finished for the first time. Oh well. Let's not stop there. Let's us not stop you know, continuing whatever we wanted to do in the first place. That's getting these wings done. So eventually the um eventually this whole stuff will be done. But yeah, if the first wing is done, then I can use the first wing to represent the second wing as well. And then, you know, we almost are finished, because then we can go for the legs and then for the head. Finish off the positions and then try to get to the body. But until then, I need to make sure that I have everything intact.
go. It should be fixed. Done. So eventually this will be going well, I hope. Not all the time, but you know, eventually it will get better. I'm trying to do my very best here, just saying. Tomorrow I'm gonna get some chocolate. I'm gonna buy myself some chocolate. That's definitely a thing that I'm gonna do. Because I'm like, hmm. We don't have any sweets in how in at home, so why not buy some chocolate? You know, some old-fashioned chocolate. It's some good. It's a very good sweet to have. It's high on energy, high on sugar. Nobody cares about where it comes from because it's chocolate. It comes from the cook. It comes from the. Uh, from the cho cocoa beans, if I'm correct. And the fun thing is that milk chocolate is actually no chocolate at all because it doesn't have anyone, you know, doesn't have anyone, doesn't have any cocoa beans in it. It has only cocoa butter. This is from the buttery part because there are two different parts of it. Beans and the pot and the butter, both are used to make chocolate. Well, that's at least what the uh, museum told me. Yeah, come on. This is a real tough one to drag crack. Not because of all the things that are going on, but yeah. Photos of the cell are sometimes are very cracky looking. Today I'm a little bit, you know, sometimes, you know, when you draw, you don't have the all the energy in the world, but, you know, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. I'm trying to make my best of it. Ooh, come on. Also, I need to make sure that I'm prepared to have more energy on Sunday. Ooh, I need to do something very important, so... 
since it's important, you know. Do 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 do. Ugh. Feathers. It's nothing very interesting in it, and I'm almost like, hmm, what should I think about? That's uh, the main thing I'm thinking about. Like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Ooh. You know, I'm trying to think about something to talk about. Sometimes, you know, you don't know what to talk about anyway. Because you know you're in a blank situation where you cannot listen to any music because you're because you don't know if it's gonna be copyrighted or anything. And I don't want to have this to be copy struck because you know it's stupid. So yeah, I'm trying to do my very best, you know, to be concentrated. Sometimes I listen to music when I'm trying to draw. Sometimes I don't. It all depends on what kind of atmosphere I'm in, like, you know, if I'm in the mood of doing something, or if I'm in the mood of doing nothing. Sometimes I'm doing nothing, sometimes I'm doing something, sometimes I'm doing even more than nothing, you know? Well, there is something more than nothing, so, yeah. Let's just take a look. Uh, my hair is all fuzzy and wuzzy. Somehow. Let's see. So we now have continued this, and now we have this line. Uh, I can actually better go for a whole re ramp on this part. It's better, I guess. It's better to have that. Also, it makes more sense, but then I need to make sure that I have this. Part fix. Uh, ooh. Almost wanted to burp here. It's not very nice to burp in front of people. Come on. Main idea is that I'm trying to get this thing all fixed. So. Uh, 
uh, come on, come on, save. Hmm. Well, I can still fix this, so I'm not mining this too much. It's a very strange angle to work around. I don't know if I can switch this around like. Those are the redo and do buttons, so I cannot change this up and down. Maybe I can, but wait, can I? Can I just move this? You know, turn this clockwise or something? Nope, 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 not gonna be touching that for a long time. Not gonna be touching that for a long time. Oh hell no. Nope. 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 Touching, trying to touch this. No, I'd rather be stuck on this ugly angle than the. Uh what does this do? Oh wait, that's the other one. That's the other two. So I can select this whole picture. So they should be fine then. I hope so. Well, that looks fine to me, if I'm correct. Yep, that looks fine to me. That looks really fine for me. So do we want to have this there? Mm. This is a difficult choice. So if I fix this up and then you know and strength just make an make this stronger there. Or should I have another one? I could go for that. 
the fairway. There you are. It makes the uh, well, it should be working and fine, but it does give less nerves. Um, I should then fill this up right here, but then I have no explanation here. Mm. Yes, 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 I got it. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. Jeez, that's gonna be a difficult one, but all right. So. Let me just take a look. Yeah, that's the that's big enough. Okay, that's a big giant chicken wing. Love it. So yeah. So yeah, um, ugh. so boring when you don't know any subjects to talk about anyway. Because you do, it's too hard to think when you're trying to draw and think at the same time. It's like, duh. 
So yeah. Give me a command. I have to have some subject. Ah, uh, what kind of subject would I go for? Rocks. No, rocks are too 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 easy to understand. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, I know. Just drawing, I guess. So, as you can see, the um, part of the wing is now filled. If I'm correct now, the whole wing is now way more structurized. Yes. Far better than the one beforehand. True. Good. Now I should be able to have the last part of it done. So save it first, just in case, and then go for here. So if I now go for like, you know, the usable non feathers, which are in a strict order, as you can see they are more or less Uh, nope. Don't want to go red. I'll just keep on the same length. These are the wings that I wanted. Why could I not get them in the last one? Because it was way too. Um, I could not get the angle correctly. As you can see, the angle is a little bit difficult to obtain. So if I want to keep on the angle like this, I should be able to do so once this is all done. So let's take a look already. Yes, that looks fine. But as you can see, the, the inconsistency on the feathers because of the problem that I have most likely with inconsistency itself creates this strange looking olive like feathers, which I don't want. I want to have actually straight feathers instead of. These tiny little ones. But if I create them too big, they actually ruin everything. Come on. Ugh. Hey, Blue. Well, nice to see you, John. Uh, let's see. 
I was a little bit too intense on working on the feathers itself. I'm almost this. I'm this close. You cannot see my hand, but I'm this close towards. Um, I am this close. You know, this this close to solving solving everything. So I'm getting there. And I did this on the wing layer. Eh. I did everything on the non wing layer. I will. I will just do this then. Fuck it. It's not a big, big problem. It's not a big problem. It's just that I did it on the wrong layer. Oh well. If it was not, it's better that I now switch back because now I cannot make a mistake when I'm trying to draw. It's just that it's just a security measure that I, if I now press the eraser, I don't erase it. Ooh, that was close. Now I don't erase the other part, but. Should not be that a problem. It's more a problem than when it's um you know busy fixing this, so I can make mistakes, but it doesn't matter now. Yeah. So yeah, um, this uh. This picture right here is actually, you know, almost finished. This part of the wing. And then I'm thinking about reusing the wing, but I could also just, you know, make a whole new one for the tiny one. And I think I will do that and then reuse the assets of this one and the tiny one to represent the other parts. So. That's what I'm gonna do, I think. Because I figured out that if I change with directions, things don't look as good as they should be. Because of the pixelation of the DPI. But that's just what I think it's gonna be happening. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oop. Sometimes very difficult to do, uh. Increment. The non wing part is the most difficult one to do because of all the uh, gaps that there are. You need to have this uh, feeling, you know, like you know where you know everything where everything is, but it needs to be closed off, it needs to be done. Come on. I'm this close to finishing it. Once I'm done finishing it, uh, I'll be. No, that's the different one. There you go. Fix that part. So once this is all fixed, so once this is all closed, then uh, I will be done with the whole wing, and then I can continue with the new one, which is gonna be following the same principle. But I will then put it on. T I will put this then inside of a map because I don't want to have this being saved on the same wing because then I cannot change the position of them, which is the most important part. There you go. So yeah, um today I'm a little bit speech speechless. Yeah, speechless. There you go. I'm a little bit speechless because of all the um, things that happened today. Like, I woke up, 
I did walk the dog. I went to get some stuff. I think no, no, no I went not not outside today. But I was like tired. I don't know from what I was tired from, but I think it was from thinking. Yeah, thinking possibly. Because I always overthink things. I over always overthink situations. I always overthink whatever I'm, my mind is up to. Also, have some good news. Um, my mom told me that maybe finally I found a house where I can move in. So, so I can find we. I finally found a house where I can, you know, live alone, which is different. But then I can finally get a pet. So, plus plus sides. So yeah, um, that's also a thing. So I think that's what's on my mind today, which caused me a little bit to be a little bit tired. But oh well, you know, it happens. There you go. Nice. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It is it is a it's a big thing, so I'm very happy that I'm getting there. I'm getting to this success. Yeah. Success. I did it, I did it. Yeah. But still I need to wait, so I'm ten in line, so if the house is getting hired well, if this if the house is getting run by somebody else then well I'm back to square one, but Eh, it's only waiting, so I don't mind. But still, the possibilities are high because it's actually quite cheap house in the. It's actually quite cheap house indeed. Um, so let's take a look at the um, at the judgy boys. Let's go, judgy time. So we have this, and now we need to make sure that we have the other layer out. Also hat, we don't need that, we don't need ears, we don't need legs. So yeah, I thought so too. So does this thing look and represent a wing of a hawk moth? A hybrid, uh, hybrid species between a cross species between a moth and a hawk. I would say yes, because it has characteristics of a moth. It also has char characteristics of a moth. So yeah, this should def this should definitely count as a hawk moth. I only see that I need to do one more thing, as you can see right over here there. so that's what we're gonna fix that's what we're gonna fix so we're gonna fix that because you know it's very annoying if we cannot fix that so we're gonna fix it by So now, if we then now fix back this, it should look a little bit better.
Yes. Looks better, but it is not yet done, so we're gonna fix that as well. We're gonna make sure that we have not these black spots on top of it. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna gently, gently. Come on. There you go. Much better. So now the whole environment is less um, blurry in the midsection so I can now see the whole line that is you know there so I can see the whole line that there is drawn good 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 good, good. excellent excellent um, do I want to fix this as well yes I want to fix that just to make sure that I have the other ones correct so right over here as it is so what what is this? Well, this is the fix of the line that is drawn here, which does not represent correctly the feathers, which we are now gonna do. So fix that. Now we need also a it's this part right here. So yeah, um, we did it. We finally completed the uh, drawing of the wing, the first wing of four. So I'm very happy upon that. Took a lot of time, took a lot of effort, but you know we we got there. We got there from scratch. We started from scratch, and uh, well, it looks well enough now, I guess. Also, this whole part here. There you go. Now it should be. Now it should be way more better looking because I fixed some part of it. So it should be now way more. Yeah. There you go. Yes, alright, so we now fix the whole bloody damn wing. We fix it all. So now that we have done that, um, what are we gonna do now? Uh, it's almost it's almost 40 minutes, so we can still start looking for what we can do now next. So I'm gonna make a short sketch. Where is my sketchy thing? Is this my sketchy thing? Yes, this is my sketchy thing. I'm gonna work on that. Hold on a sec. So, sketchy thing is done. No. Sketchy thing is done. We have fixed every single problem there is. We should go for big brush. So I'm gonna do that as well. Big brush, big brush. So, sketchy thing is now done. So we're very happy upon that. Now, um, we need to move to the wings. So we have the first wing done. Now we need to actually go for the second wing. So what I want to do is now actually go for layer 10. Yes, and then put those out. So how are we going to draw this? Well, we're going to draw it the same way. So we have, um, we have this part over here. Yeah. So we have the first wing there. We know that the wing is here cutting off. So we need to make sure that uh, we have the nerve. Oh my, the nerve. Ah, oh, god damn, we need to have the nerve again. No, not the nerve. B wing. Well, butterfly wing. Let's go for it. But the fly. Wing. 
why are we looking for the butterfly wing instead of the moth wing? Because we need to see the characteristics of, well, how it looks like. So, eh. So that's how it looks. All right, there you go. Perfect. There you go. So these are the normal nerves that we're gonna go for, but these are the nerves we're gonna go for. So we have these nerves that the butterfly has, but we have also the nerves that we have in beforehand. So what I want to do is actually go for the more B approach. So that's gonna be right over there. Ugh, that's gonna be a difficult one to do. So my idea is that. But then I don't have a center nerve. Well technically it doesn't need a center nerve in the mid in, in the back in the back one. Ooh, woof. Um Yes. No, yes. Does it need a center nerve? Does it need it? Good reroute this part to that part. That would make sense. But I need to make sure that I have because I'm using the way of that. So that should be a thing. Then I have here a thing, and I have here a thing. So yes, um, this all needs to be a section of each other. Otherwise, it would not make sense. So this needs to be here, then, so there is a central nerve here, then I'm gonna go for here, and then here, yes. So I'm gonna go for two central nerves. So this is gonna be just central nerve. So we have here, which is a branch, which is going to be like, you know, splitting up again. Then here again, splitting off. To the, then splitting off here again. And here you have that. And you have this. So yeah. That looks very spooky, but it is the it is what it is. Um so yeah. This should be the thing. Now this is how I think I'm gonna make the wing happening. Well this wing instead, not the other wings. <sighs> um, bad again here. So yeah, um, that's the idea. Um, I think it's the same idea as the wing itself. So if I just delete this this part of the wing and go for this one no more, and go for wing one and two. So. We have actually the same kind of structure again, so it's gonna be here, here, so what I want is that the wing needs to be right over there, so probably gonna be moving that, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move it a little bit up. So what I want I want this wing that I have drew. Right over there. So now I need to know where I need to start. So there is a start, there is a start, and here's the end. Right, so I'm going to lower this down to right there. 
Yes. All right. Um, I did it. <laughs> I made the second design, even though it looks very trashy. But you know, this is only the marking of you know the sketch. It's not the wing itself. So the first thing first we're gonna do is putting these two. Uh, control. There you go. And put them into a map. Um, no, not clone. Can I not make a map or something? Group layer. Group. There you go. Group 16. There is nothing in 16. Well, congratulations. Group 16 is going to have the copy of the wing. And the wing itself. That's some intense uh, looking. That's not what I want. That's not what I wanted. Come back. Come back. Come back. All right. So I want these two. Wants these two into a layer, into a group, into a group, into a quick group. Quick group. Yes, and I want them to be in. I'm gonna say that this is wing one. Wing one. So now we have grouped the wing. So if I now do this, the wing is gone. And now uh, on, off, on, off, on, off. This saves me a lot of time because now I know where the fucking wing is. So if I then close it up like, hey, I know where the wing is. There it is. Um. So now I have to. I have now the texture. I know where the texture is. I know how the other ones is. All right, so um, I grouped it. Check. I created a new design for the new win. Check. Oh yes, that's also a thing that I pressed. Indeed, I forgot about pressing Ctrl Z a lot of times. But every single time I make a mistake, I like to Ctrl Z or I like to use the gum if I can do it the other way around. Like I'm di this close, and then you know because of all the many all the many details I did, it's not very handy dandy if I do Control Z most of the times because you know it is not safe to it's it's safe to a limit of movements. So I think it is like 20 movements and then it refresh. So I don't know. I never test Control Z to the limit, but Control Z I always new, uh, use when I make a mistake, a very big mistake. Control Z is for big mistakes. Gum is for little mistakes. Anyway, um, I did the wing. Looks pretty. This wing looks pretty, so I'm happy upon that. That part. Uh, let's see. So this wing looks now very nice and well done. So I'm very happy upon that. It is a good result. Check. The wing is done. Check. It's put into a group. Check. It is um, safe and sound. It is locked. Check. And I can now start with the second wing. Check. So we did that all in one hour. So we finally finished the wing. We completed it all. And now uh, it's almost it's almost time to go again. <laughs> so I'm very happy. I'm very happy that uh, finally the wing is completed. I'm, I'm very, very happy here. And uh, I hope I, I uh, see you all next time. And until then, have a nice day. Bye.